Hi everyone, so in this video, I am going to tell you that how you can move your data from your Android phone to iPhone. So as you can see, I have Samsung there and I bought iPhone 16. So I'm going to tell you step by step the process and how it works. So first, as you can see, I'm just going to uh, sign in to or set up my iPhone. So select your country, whichever country you are in, and then just follow these steps. And if you don't know, if you're setting up iPhone first time, so you can watch or follow the steps I am following. So just just follow the steps. And once we are in, or not right, we're gonna be logged in. So it's gonna it's gonna give us the option to. So like I'm going to show you here. So right now it's activating. So make sure you connect it with your home Wi-Fi or whichever Wi-Fi you have. It need Wi-Fi to connect. Okay. Set up your iPhone. Yeah, you can set up your Faith ID if you want to now or if you want to do it later on, you can. It's totally up to you. Uh, you can create the password for your phone, which I'm creating now. You can also create later on as well. Uh, okay here so as you can see here from Android you, you have to click from here and press OK so because we are moving from Android to iPhone so we have to select if you are gonna move from iPhone so you can select iPhone so you know so right now it's showing a verification code on our iPhone so to to do uh, to so where we're we gonna enter this verification code I know so for that you have to go to the play store and here there's the app you have to search move to ios so move to ios yeah there you go the second one i think yeah that is the one move to ios you have to install that on your android phone and once you install fully i'm gonna show you the next step so open now from here you can press OK, continue, agree, yeah. Oh, my battery is low. I'm gonna just connect with the with the charger. If if your Samsung battery is low, just make sure you can connect with the charger and then it will give you the option. So there you go. Uh yeah, just just get into my phone. Okay, continue. So yeah, uh, connect via cable or you can do over the Wi-Fi as well. So because um, I'm just gonna do now. So this verification code, it's gonna ask us to enter in your Android phone. So like that, that's the way the phone's gonna link up and start transferring the data basically. So here, here we have to enter the same code, 917596. It might be different for obviously every phone number different. So here you have to select what things you want to move. As you can see, I'm just I'm gonna select everything. Your all the options. I'm gonna select. So if you don't want to move anything, you can select or not select from here. So once you're done or you can even see more anything you want to add from your files or from from the gallery you can add once you're happy everything is there just just make sure and then continue from the app. so this is is the uh, window is going to be showing on both phones and it, it's gonna tell you the estimated time. It depends on how much data in your Android phone is. So it's gonna start transferring. From my own experience, as you can see, it's pretty much quick, 10 minutes, uh, because I have data, but you know, the iPhone program is so quick in fetching or pulling the data, especially in transfer, transferring new iPhone. So even iPhone to iPhone is so good and so quick. So as you can see, it's going to take some time, like 10 minutes. And uh, 
I will show you everything properly. So only one minute left now. Yeah, there you go. It's done. Transfer completed. Um, all the things is checked on both phones. Press next from the Samsung. Your your part is done. You can you can put it away or keep it near. So here you have. If you have an Apple ID, you can sign in here. If you don't want to sign in, so you can you can skip that. Sign up later. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Okay, next. Agree. So now it's signing in. So because I have an Apple ID, I'm just signing in with that. Uh, so I'm sure you can sign in. Or if you don't have it, I think it's good to create because you're first time moving. So you need Apple ID anyways uh, to use an iPhone. So it's good to have or create a new Apple ID in the beginning so then all your data will be saved so with apple guys if you're new to apple let me tell you it's apple id is everything so that's the main key so just make sure you have that uh, save the password and everything so okay now i'm just wanna get into the phone and show you the apps and everything which we moved from the Android to iPhone basically what happened in this case is sometimes the it's mainly about the data and context and everything else uh, so I'm gonna show you once I'm in so that's that's the new action action button uh, it's iPhone 16 plus it is showing me so as you can see, uh, all the apps are installed. We are in the phone. You can you can make sure, but you can see the Instagram and Gmail apps, which is not comes with the by default of uh, iPhone setup. So I'm really happy to, happy to see all the apps are there, and I'm sure with the apps, your data gonna be there as well. So I'm sure this video is helpful and it's fine really helpful to you please like subscribe to this channel and show some support and let me know if this actually works for you and if because it works worked for me as you can see in this video so i'm sure guys you enjoy this video and it's very helpful thanks for watching